guys. So I am going to make some hummus. Um, I'm getting this ready, so I'm going to make hummus and I'm going to make a dessert. Um, yeah, the hummus should be pretty easy. It's going to get really loud. The food processor I have is super loud. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to get uh, started with. Okay, so I got all my ingredients. This is what you need to make hummus garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Um, I soak these, I ended up soaking them overnight, but like three or four hours is plenty. And then cook in a pot of uh, hot water with a little bit of salt for, I'm gonna took like 45 minutes to an hour. And then I just put them back in the jar. I did this like a couple days ago. I just put them back in the jar with some water um, until I was ready to use them. And then I drained it, rinsed them, and they're ready to go. Some organic tahini. Um, tahini is just roasted, hauled sesame seeds, ground up. It's one of the bases for hummus. And bell peppers in my hummus because it sounds good. And then a little bit of lemon juice. And I got the Lakewood Organic Pure Lemon. Um, I was going to get lemons themselves, but this is going to last longer and it's literally organic lemon juice. It's the only ingredient. And of course, salt. Alright, so let's get this stuff together and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so I forgot uh, one of the ingredients, olive oil, and this is what I use. It's, I get it, again, I get most of my stuff from the bulk department. Um, this is Ariston uh, Extra Virgin Olive Oil, and yeah, that's that. You also need that to make hummus. So, let's begin. Um, so I'm just chopping up the peppers. I need to move this over there because I don't have an accessible outlet right here because my apartment is old. Okay, I'll be back. And as you can see, it is, it is hummus. And it is delicious. I will post, I will, uh, Post the description, uh, the recipe down in the description. Bleh. Bleh. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put this away and then we'll get on to the Rice crispy recipe. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. We just made the hummus and now we are, we are going to make the chocolate Rice crispy bars. We're attempt to, I honestly, don't know if this is going to work out. It will be adventurous for everybody. So for this recipe, instead of marshmallows, I'm going to use dates as the uh, glue that holds it together. And then I got natural puffed rice. The only ingredient is puffed whole grain rice. That's it. Coconut milk. Soy-free vegan butter. Whoa, that was really close. I apologize. Um, I got Earth Balance soy-free vegan butter. And these are vegan dairy nut and soy-free uh, chocolate chips. I was going to get cacao nibs, but uh, decided that I wanted these instead because I didn't want to add any extra sugar um, to the mix. And this already has cane sugar in it. It's unsweetened chocolate and cane sugar. That's it. Okay, so on to the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of these 
in here because I don't want to chop them all up all at once and it's gonna get loud so I will uh, see you guys in the next clip Oh wait, so this is what I have so far. It was a chocolatey puffed rice mess. Let's see. I think I'm going to roll these into balls, into chocolate balls. I think that's going to be the best course of action. That's what I'm feeling. And we're going by how we're feeling. So I'm making chocolatey puffed rice balls. <laughs> it works, right? So they're more like truffles. This is experimenting with Jesse. If this works out, I can try it with other things as well. And these are still quite warm. You can let them cool down a little bit if you like. Um, being a cook, I'm kind of used to things being hot so my hands can take it. Um, but if you're not used to it, I would let them cool or put them in the refrigerator for like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, you don't want them hard. You don't want it hard because then you won't be able to form as form them as easily. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna probably edit a lot of this out because it's getting so long. Cause I ramble. I'm making a few of these smaller. If these turn out. I should make candy and sell it. So I don't eat it all. Or I could just share it with my friends. I'll probably just share it with my friends. Because I don't have the patience to do this on a regular basis that would entail actually selling it. So. Now that we have those done, I'm going to wash my hands quick. So, this is what we have. Bring these into the light. And I'm going to put these in the fridge. Um, I don't know how long they're supposed to go in the fridge because I've never done this before. But I'm going to put these in the fridge and then I have to go fill up my water bottle. Anybody recognize this? I love him. Uh, and then we'll see where we're at. I'll talk to you guys later.